voila guys, here we are. We have the baby and the mother. <laughs> you don't really have to worry about, you know, does the leather have issues? It's treed throughout. They still have a rainbow. <gasps> they still have a rainbow. Reissue wallet on chain. Guys. Here she is, so that it pops more, you know? That would have been ideal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they have just shown me another really limited edition piece. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, it is so windy today. I don't even know why I did my hair. <laughs> It's all gonna look messed up in a second anyway. Okay, so I got my coffee. It's a beautiful day. Um, we are gonna meet Steph now. I'm gonna try and find her somewhere around Selfridges. And then we just look and see what's new. And to be honest, guys, I might get something today that I've been trying to resist for too long. Also, guys, I've got some new boots and I have to say I really, really like the look of them. Aren't they? Woo! Fantastic. I know we've been looking at these ones already last week, but guys, you know how much I love Lanvin bags. I just think they are artworks and it's wearable art, right? Wow, guys, I really like this Jill Sander bags. They remind me a little bit of Gucci, obviously, with the bamboo handle. Comfort bags, guys. That is quite an eye catcher. Hi. Little outfit of the day. Yes, I'm wearing my Lily Silk blazer dress again because I just love it. And it was raining today, then the sun was shining, then it was raining again. <laughs> so these are my new shoes. Maybe here you can actually see them better. Uh, I love them. And obviously, I chose my little Gucci bag. You guys, I just live for these moments. I just met one of my subscribers, and she's from Kuwait. And she just came here to be on holidays and shop around, <laughs> but she was too shy to say hi. But oh, I always love meeting you guys. Hey, should we head into Dior? quickly look at what i spotted right here one of the east west lady dior's with lots of little beads i don't like orange but it's quite intricate this one is the nicest i've seen so far they have really nice bags but nothing that catches my attention look at this the tapestry behind the bag is exactly from this winter collection they have it in a lady dior as well let's try that one on so this is the previous one now yeah this is the Charlton collection from the guy okay but so we do beautiful. have a really similar collection coming. Okay, so what do we think about this? You guys know I'm always hunting for special pieces. This has champagne gold hardware. I like it. It would go well with my floral <laughs> handbag collection. Let me know. I think it was worth coming in here just for this artwork. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so this is the new collection that is dropping and the book to it. I really like the white one. He showed me this one first. You guys know I love florals. <laughs> but then he said it actually comes out in the black. So this is the Lady Dior light. Um, not really my style, I have to say, um, because I love the classic Lady Dior. I think with the Christian Dior writing on top, like it looks a lot better on a casual bag like the book to it. Okay guys, so this is the white book to it version with the florals. I like it. I think it just pops more on the black background. But let me know what you think. I mean, you guys know I'm a sucker for everything floral. <laughs> it is kind of my colors as well, right? Like purples, lavender, pink. It's very subtle. This is a new model as well that they are coming out with. It's like a puffer version. Um, not really my style, but these are <gasps> lace boots. <laughs> love them. I just found Steph. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Tell me what you're wearing today. I am wearing a Zara jumper, mm -hmm. JMBY trench coat. Um, it protected I, you from the rain. It has, yes. <laughs> and my plenty shorts. And the bag. Ooh, and my, I didn't even know you had that. Louis Vuitton Lock Me. Oh, I've had this a while, it. but I just never use it. Oh, the black one. Oh my god, the black one is even more gorgeous. Maybe we should try that one on too. And guys, they are so beautifully embroidered. I never know if we can actually see the details. <gasps> Gorgeous. I think the flowers pop more on the black background, um, but let me know if you prefer the white or the black. I still want to get a Dior book tour at some point. <laughs> you know, if I ever find the perfect one that just screams my name, I think that... Was that you? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Ooh, look at this one. Et voila, guys. Here we are. So, <gasps> okay. This is gorgeous, isn't it? I love it. I love it a lot. Okay, let's have a look, a close-up look. 
that's what I mean. This is all stitched, you know, it's not printed on. It's, it's a beautiful piece of art, in my opinion. The large one, okay, the large one is good for traveling. Um, I think I would prefer for everyday life, the medium size. The white one comes in the medium. I don't know if they have the black in the medium as well. This is your size, right? Yes. That's the small. Yeah. There we have the medium and yeah. that's the large. Yeah. Okay, here we are with the white one. <laughs> so I think this size is just a lot better, let's be honest. Um, but it doesn't come in the black one. Oh, <laughs> and <Hello>. I, <laughs> the Lady Dior, let's have a look at that one yes. too. So I think I would prefer this in black. I would yeah. just be too, I know you have a white one. I would be too scared yeah. when it comes to fabric Definitely. getting dirty and stuff like that. I am nervous about getting makeup on it, but they are beautiful. So I they think are. this, like if this mm -hmm. colorway came in that book too, I think that would be, totally that agree. would be great. I absolutely yeah. agree. Guys. More Dior Eye Candy and there we have lots of sparkles and sequins. I love this tapestry look. I would just be worried with these bags that they, you know, rip my dresses apart because we know that happened before. Oh wow, okay, let's just have a quick look at this one. That is gorgeous, right? I really love embroidered bags. And there we have the little bag that ripped my dress apart so they are absolutely breathtaking but rather probably collector's pieces that you look at at home like art but I wouldn't wear them because they are dangerous to your clothes. I still really love this one a lot. This comes in a micro lady Dior as well. How gorgeous would that be? The new Dior totes with a huge canache pattern. I don't know it looks a little bit plain doesn't it? I'm not the biggest fan of that one. It's I mean, it's very understated. I'm just not a fan of it. I have Steph vlogging. <laughs> and look at these tiny little micro bags. Really cute. Oh, and even more of them up there. Do you know the diamond motif, Lady Dior's? You had this so one, pretty. right? Yeah, I had this one. So tell me, what was the issue with it? The coat, you can see it's happening here. Can oh my God, see? it's just a display bag. Yeah, yeah, it just started to peel. So I returned there. mine, which is such a shame because I love the bag. Oh, and that happens on a lot of uh, bags, right? I think one of your subscribers sent you yeah. pictures as well. That's yeah. horrible. Look at these ones. I have never seen them before. Uh, and there's a little houndstooth East West. Look at this one. Tiny little stars. Valentino Pink. I've never seen it before, but it's always catching my attention. Look at these. So I actually like this top handle version. But is it too modern? Will it look dated very quickly? That's my question. Look at this beaded beauty. Lots of little crystals and beads. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> look at this gorgeous velvet bag. That is exactly my color. Other guys. I'm not a big fan, but I love everything that sparkles, obviously. <laughs> right, you said you really like this tote? Yeah, I really like this tote. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I like I like that more than the Dior one that we've just seen. True. Sure. Yeah, and it's leather, right? Yeah. All brands just steal creative ideas from each other, right? I mean, does this bag not totally remind us of the Givenchy Antigona? Another one of these <laughs> would go well with your other bag. Yeah. <laughs> Show me a close-up. Show me a close-up of these. Wow, guys, here's a close-up of the bag. Stunning. Hello. So, do we like this? <laughs> I mean, I really want to add a crystal bag, another one. I mean, like I said, if you haven't seen my latest Carthage unboxing yet, go and check it out, because there's a crystal bag in that one. <laughs> but wow, you know, I mean, the light here is obviously really good, but oh, crystal, crystal, crystal overload. You guys have a different Louis Vuitton pop-up here in Selfridge, so this is men's, but I think it's definitely worth looking at. Look at this key boy. I love it. It's definitely something special. They don't only have the key ball, they have a mini key ball as well. Oh, that is tiny and cute. And the backpack's a nice one. I think it would go well with any kind of denim look. It's actually leather, but it looks quite denim-y, right? I really like soft trunks in general. Yeah. They are really cool. Yeah, it looks kind of a bit like concrete. Yeah, like. and I mean, this looks kind of like a denim, right? But yes. it's actually leather. Yeah, beautiful. Louis Vuitton, guys. And this is the new Puffa Pochette Accessoire. I don't know what the actual name is. But it's all winter themed. I still really, really love this one. I have to be honest, maybe because it's so different to everything else we've seen. But I mean, I sold most of my monogram canvas pieces. 
I don't know if I should get another one. I've got two left, but I think that's enough. Well, at least the wind hasn't totally destroyed my hair. <laughs> I love the trunk filled up with flowers. That's such a beautiful home decor piece. If you haven't seen my latest vlog, go and check that one out as well, because we are going to the flagship store in that block and you can actually see how they're painting, hand painting on these beautiful pieces. I just tried Fleur du Désert for the first time now and it's such a beautiful perfume. It just smells amazing. Some more Louis Vuitton I can need. Look at this gorgeous trunk. And obviously I love this cup of scene with the golden details. It's nothing really interesting, right? It's no. like we've seen most of these pieces already. Yeah, I like the new Lock Me, mm -hmm. um, but other than that, most of them are just the same. Oh my god, guys, they have a Raisin Birkin 30. My absolute dream bag. So close yet so far away. Look at this. This is a very special Picotine. Do you like it, Steph? Yeah, it's nice. You would get it if you could? Yeah. Okay. What do we think? This is my absolute dream bag. Look at it. Is it Togo leather, this one? It's Togo. Mm. A little bit of Fendi. Look at we this so exploded like fluff bag. <laughs> yeah. we just went straight there, I mean, that's the biggest exploded shirling yeah. bag I've ever seen, I think. Me too. Looks like a sheep. Never seen them before. Is that wool? Oh my god, this is like a wool bag. It's light like a feather. There we have the Fendi Sunshine Chopper Toad in the shearling as well. In general guys, I think there's nothing we haven't seen before. No new pieces yet. It is quite huge, Steph. It is quite big. Et voila! <laughs> I mean, do we have any words? I don't know. It's just something funny, right? <laughs> I would not ever wear this, um, but it's not too bad. If you really want to stand out, Guys, you have them both together. <laughs> Just currently chilling at Fendi. Hi, because we need a little break. And what's happening on the 3rd of November? New forget bags are coming out. We're going to come to keep them. And we got invited to an event. Okay, so just trying on this one. Usually I'm not that much into logos anymore. I think this is quite cool though. I like it. It's the classic Fendi logo, obviously, the FF logo. I think it goes well with like an overall black outfit. Yeah, who would have thought? I actually like a Fendi baguette. Steph's gonna try um, some of the Fendi bodysuits. Yeah. Let's have a look at them. Yeah. Can't go wrong with these. Jessie from Jessie Style. Hi, my good friend here on YouTube. She just recently got this bag. It actually feels very nice. It's nice leather. That is an eye catcher. The color is quite stunning. And look at these teddy bear bags. Oh. They're not bad. Oh, they're not bags? They're not bags, I think they're just keychons. Oh, that's quite big for a keychon. <laughs> Some Gucci eye candy. These are new models. Quick look at Bulgari bags. We're gonna go to Dina again soon, but I have never seen this one before, so I thought, why not show you this? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I've seen the serpentine um, top handle bag is coming out in like a crystal version yes, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to see it. Like it's my only 20 pieces. Mm. Mm. My SA from uh, Bond Street, she's trying to get yeah. one. <laughs> wow, okay, let's try this on. Hi guys. Oh, let's look at this little beauty. So, um, this one comes in the serpentine top handle bag in like golden and silver crystals as well. I hope I put a picture up so that you know what I'm talking about. Um, I really hope that we see one soon and that we actually might get our hands on one. <laughs> that would be amazing. But wow, is this not a stunning little bag? And do we like it? It's quite heavy. And of course you can wear it, you know, as a shoulder bag as well. We have the baby and the mother. Hey. <laughs> I think I would go for the baby, but yeah. I'm not sure would the iPhone fit. Oh. Oh, might be difficult. It does fit her iPhone, so that's a positive that's point. Not the, this is not the plus size, the normal yeah. iPhone. I do like the red metallic color in the 22. It's tweet, tweet, tweet. How beautiful is this? And lots of nice colors. I mean, she's looking for the pink Chanel 22. Oh, let's see if she finds it. Guys, oh, is this not the cutest little bag? I really like it and it's tweed, so you don't really have to worry about, you know, does the leather have issues? It's tweed throughout. So even if you get a Chanel 22 in tweed, the strap is obviously leather and we know that it cracks. But this is entirely made out of tweed, so I don't know if there would be any quality issues. I love it. It's quite bright, isn't it? And wear it on your shoulder as well. 
Oh, that's a nice one. I once had a Gabrielle in Tweed and that one was peeling really badly at the back of the bag where, you know, it rubs against your body. So I don't know if that would happen, if that would be a quality issue, but oh, I like the inside of the bag. And it's 3,300. That's a good price for a little Chanel bag, right? They are new as well. They are quite cute. It's like a vanity cake. Guys, we've seen this one in the bigger size. That's a tiny little Chanel flap with pearls, but how beautiful is this? Look at this little bag with the hearts. It's a little bit marked up already. Here we have the same one in white. What's this? Never seen this one before. Oh, oh god. They are gorgeous. 650, that's actually doable. And you guys know how much I love espadrilles. Oh wow. They are my dream. It's a small Chanel 22 and a little mini bag there with the hearts. Love this one. I can't believe they still have some of these. Hi guys. So I just tried these beautiful shoes on and I love them but they don't have them in 38 anymore. Oh, it's so sad. They only have them in 37 and like my toes are really painful <laughs> in these. But how gorgeous are they? I really want these. Maybe they have them in another boutique. Oh wow. And it's a little bit understated. You don't really see the first moment that this is Chanel. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. A little bit of Chanel. I love those colors. It's a gorgeous Chanel 19, right? I want a golden devil. And it's a little pop of color. Guys, this is the first time we can get a close up of this bag. I like it. I think I'm really drawn to the pink tweed. And I love this Chanel 22. That was the first Chanel 22 I ever tried on, remember? Um, I was thinking about getting it, but it was the light color, really made me not want to go for it. What? They still have a rainbow. <gasps> they still have a rainbow reissue wallet on chain. Probably because it's just pink at the front and nobody wanted to buy it. But it is. Wow. Can't believe this. This came out like two years ago. A gray Chanel 19 with a silver hardware. Some Chanel Coco Neige. Yo. What bag do we have here? Oh, look. One of the shearling bags. Oh, they feel so nice. They once had this in pink as well. The Chanel Coco Neige pieces and the embroidery at the back of this jacket. Nice. Get this jumper. Really nice. And guys, I missed to show you the details on this bag. Coco. Cool, cool. I'm just going to show you quickly what I'm wearing because I didn't film this before I left the house today. This is the best mirror in Selfridges. just see some fun Luego bags. They are amazing. I like them. Oh, that's quite heavy. Oh my god, how cute is this? Saint Laurent. You want to get a Lulu bag? Yes. And which size? This one? This one. one. Okay. This exact one. It's got a few marks on it though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you get this one in this cream colour as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm always too scared of these light bag colours. <laughs> okay. I'm drawn to everything with crystals. <laughs> That is gorgeous and they have even more there and the reflection you can actually see better how it sparkles <laughs> Absolutely stunning oh, This is a cute little teddy bear. I wish I wish it was gold hardware You guys know me, but cute. This is like a sweet bag And there we have another teddy bear. I've seen these clutches in the outlet before um, this is the most gorgeous color I've seen it in so far. And lots of the tiny little mini Lulu bags in all kinds of different colors. Look at this crushed velvet Saint Laurent. I love the effect. Uh huh. And look at the star. And look at the star bag. I mean, it's quite interesting what Saint Laurent does. The Saint Laurent I Care bag. I mean, you guys know I don't like it, I never liked it, but the more I get bombarded with it, you know, social media, I'm like, oh. Not too bad. Me. Yeah. But it kind of yeah, the shape, it's gonna lose its shape quickly. We have it on Steph. It is huge, Steph. It is, it is really, really huge. I'm, I'm tempted, but it's very good. <laughs> I just met another one of my subscribers. Wasn't he so cute? He was so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, guys. What is it this? <gasps> wow. Okay, I've seen so many beautiful crystal bags today that I don't even know which one I would want. 
This is Alexander McQueen. What do we think, Steph? Yeah, we like it. Much. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot. If you put this with a plain black dress, they would yeah. look amazing. The guys, the matching uh, blazer. blazer. Here she is. Nice you know, day. I've been eyeing her for a while. Yeah, she's beautiful. I never have bought any silver hardware bags. That's the first silver hardware really? bag I ever wanted. Okay. Cause like, I just love gold. Yeah. Look at this. They have the tiny mini, the mini versions. Ones. Oh, look at the cat. I know. I love it's it. The, like shiny leather. I know. That is really beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's just like, what do you fit in there, right? Oh. <laughs> there we have another special one. <laughs> oh wow, this is heavy and this is empty, right? Yeah. That is beautiful, though. Wow. The detail. I mean, look at this, right? Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. But like lifted, it's so heavy. Okay. Nice. A more little. But look at this. A more little hobo cat bags. But this box cat bag in pink. That's quite an eye catcher. Oh, that one. Wow. I've seen it on the website. <laughs> That's cool. I think this was even on sale once on the website, and I was thinking about getting it. Um, I, I, I don't know how this wears though. This is a special edition from last season. I saw it on the website. I didn't know if I needed it. This one actually went on sale. Um, yeah. So nice. What do we think, Steph? I like it. Am I gonna get you into uh, Maybe. low farm bags? I feel like this is a really beautiful evening bag. Guys, yeah. here she is. I still think it is a must. For my collection let me know i'm not sure it's silver hardware but i mean i've been thinking about this one now since june july kind of like what is this oh, it's really nice as well. yeah. oh wow that is gorgeous wow i mean yeah it's quite similar right <laughs> to my i love everything with like flowers on it everything floral is this crushed velvet and then like you have little beads on it? It does look like crushed velvet. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. Here are the mud bags. Oh, I like them too. I like all of them. This one from Farfetch. <laughs> My little happy bag. They actually have the matching shoes as well. Look at this. An exotic version of the box cat, box cat bag. Would it be a box? It needs to be. Crocodile. Okay, it needs to be one of those. But so you first choose which cut you want, mm -hmm. the handle. Yeah. Then you choose what kind of color you want. Oh my god, I'm so drawn to the color. <laughs> and then the clasp. Oh, and you can customize as well. Okay, how much or would it be? Something. 20, 30? Okay. Which one would you get, Steph? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, all of them. Have you seen anything you actually really like? One. Do I have enough flower bags? Why did they not make this one with the gold cat? <laughs> so that it pops more, you know? That would have been ideal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, what do I do? Yeah. So this is a very limited mm -hmm. edition as well. Oh wow, how did they do this? Is this no, it's stunning. And they have just shown me another really limited edition piece. We've seen it on pictures before. We have not seen it in reality. Actually, let me go to this mirror. Maybe that is actually better, yes. So it is absolutely gorgeous. But you guys know I have the regular black box cat bag. So I think, you know, I can't add another one. But you know, if you don't have any yet, it's a nice option. Well, guys, what a beautiful day. So, Steph already had to leave. Um, I just came out of Lombard. Any guesses? Like, I was really drawn between two bags, as you might have seen. And I think I made the right decision, though. I think I did. So, unboxing video is coming soon. <laughs> um, yeah, so now we're just gonna wait for my friend Patricia. Um, oh, the sun. Ugh. Perfect, perfect day, perfect end to the day. Um, we're gonna wait for my friend Patricia, have some nice dinner, and then I'm gonna go home, film an unboxing video, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag of this family here, because we all do have the same luxury disease, right? And yeah, guys, I see you again very, very soon in beautiful London.